Now let's talk about Region 2. We have a transmitted field into Region 2 right here that's going in the positive z direction. It's going to hit a boundary at O2 where we have a reflection coefficient gamma 2 at O2 that we could calculate off the Smith chart. And that's going to create a reflected wave going in the minus z direction. The total field in Region 2 is the sum of these two waves. The transmitted field acts like the source wave for the reflected field, except that the source started clear over here. We need to know what the source is when it gets to O2, so let's write that. E2, I'm going to call it a source, just to help us, at region O2 is going to be equal to E transmitted at, reg at location O2. That is going to be at a distance z equals d2. So it's going to be e0 plus gamma 1 at O1, e to the minus alpha 2 d2, e to the minus j beta 2 d2 in the x direction. Then I'm going to use that like an incident field that I did for region number 1. Let me put a vector there. So my total electric field in region number 2 as a function of z, and this time I'm going to kind of have to make some notes here. This particular z starts out with z equals 0 here at the minus d2. When we're talking about this z, it's treating this as a location for z equal to 0. So that's why I want to use the incident field at O2 as my source, and notice there are no z's in here, now they're, they're d's, so we're okay. So this is going to be e2 source or incident at O2 times e to the minus alpha 2 z e to the plus, uh, sorry, e to the minus j beta 2 z, that's a minus, e to the minus j beta 2 z, and then we need to have a reflected field here, so it's going to be e2 incident at O2 times the reflection coefficient at O2, and then it's going to be propagating in the minus z direction, so it will be out multiplied by e to the alpha 2z, e to the j beta 2z, and it's all of this is polarized in the x direction. Now notice how this is exactly like our region number 1, except that we are using this field as our incident field instead of the one that would have been given at the beginning of the problem. Also notice that we're using a gamma 2 at O2 instead of our gamma 1 at O1. So that's how we get the fields in region 2. Now how do you suppose you get the field in region 3? I want to get it right here at O3. So in that case, the transmitted field, which is going to be E3 at O3, and that's going to be the transmitted part, is just going to be E2 at O2 times the transmission coefficient at O2, and then it's propagating in the positive direction. Oops, positive direction means I need a negative sign. Negative j beta 3z, and it's going to be polarized in the x direction. So there are our fields. As we go through multiple regions, we just calculate the fields using the transmitted field, translating it from from minus d2 to o2, translating it, that's what we're doing here, um, translating it over to o2 and using that as the incident field, and then repeating ourselves over and over and over until we have all of the regions taken care of.